Nee, okay. I catch the last train out of the city. All aboard the midnight steamliner. It cuts its way out of the city like a neon blade to the outskirts. A ramshackle smear of strip malls and cheap motels that splatter out of the city like an exit wound. I'd ask that you leave me be, sir. Well, excuse me. I can't shake the feeling I'm being tailed. That someone is watching me. Here you go, you poor old thing. I stalk through the carriages, searching for Dimitri Konya. I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for, but based on Misty's description, I figure I'll know him when I see him. All I know is that Cognac is a dangerous man whose charisma is inescapable. I'm like, here you can have these. A chill runs up my spine. Something isn't right, but I press on. Whose kid is that? Hey, mister, you look funny. Hey, mister, you look funny. Hey, mister, you look funny. Whose kid is that? Is that the janitor? <clears throat> this is like a control type of thing. What janitor is? Real control. Passengers are spread out as if each is harboring a secret they don't want anyone else to hear. Okay. Of course it's a fat guy, I wanted to say it's probably some massively fat guy. This must be him. Dmitri is a hard man to miss. He's sitting in a dimly lit booth, accompanied by a stunning woman who looks me up and down as I approach. Oh, well go on then, don't just monologue to yourself now let's hear about grappling around in that pretty little head dimitri is a large man robust spilling out of his seat a relic from a time when indulgence was a luxury his substantial girth once a symbol of opulence now hints at the sins he must have savored the man is immaculately groomed his mustache adding a touch of rugged sophistication <laughs> Well, thanks. I enjoy my sophisticated mustache, too. I knew my monologuing would get me in trouble one day. Finally, some <laughs> interesting is about to happen. Come sit with me, Hanson. Let's wait for it together. What's, what's going to happen? Come sink your teeth into a battered roll. I knew my monologuing was going to get me into trouble one day. Profundo was the sturdiest thing on this rickety train. The secret to the perfect piece of cake is carefully slicing it 
to just the perfect size, enormous. <laughs> you look tired. Has it been a long night? I'm looking for someone. You've been talking to Misty. How do you know? Did she call you? Uh -oh. Do you see a telephone? You've brought your past with you. Every line under those cute little vodka bottle glasses. That cloud of Misty's perfume you waft them here with. I always told her she wore too much. I hope my acquired scent didn't disturb the other passengers. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's my job to move like a shadow in the night, to not be seen or smelled. It doesn't matter because there is no one else on this train. Of course there are, Cognac. I talked to lots of passengers in the carriages before you. Ghosts. They're all ghosts. Mm. Did you try the ham? Wait, are you saying this is a ghost train? Wouldn't that be a thrilling story? No, this is not a ghost train. I'm not sure I understand. Pick someone, anyone on the train you think you make. That woman with feathers in her hair, that man with a freshly braced suit who looked nervous in the second car. Where are they going? He doesn't matter. Are they going to work? What would happen if they didn't go? Nothing, nothing would happen. The train would still arrive on time. The workplace would hire someone else. The papers would still get photocopied. Ghosts, every one of them. Gruyere. Dimitri, how long have you been riding this train? Maybe I've been on this train for 200,000 years. Or maybe I didn't exist until you trotted through that door over there. The more interesting question is, how long am I going to be here? Well, the end of the line is coming soon. What is it you really want to ask? And you simply must try the salami. <laughs> Thanks, Dimitri, but I couldn't possibly. I'm looking for a different kind of sustenance tonight. I'm looking for someone. Yes, I see. Quality sustenance comes at a price. Misty asked me to give this to you. And what did you say your name was? Spanner. Cliff Spanner, private detective. You seem to have captured my attention, Mr. Spammer. How may I help you? I like this guy. Rusty Blackwood, heir to the Blackwood Oil Company. He's is a missing. philosopher. I understand he may have interacted with you. Rusty Blackwood. The poor fool got tangled up in some things stickier than he could handle. He stumbled onto some secrets. Dangerous ones. Tell me everything, Cognac. Spare no detail. Rospi had evidence. Documents that could bring a whole charade crashing down. Charade? What charade? How did you... Uh -oh. He's touching his leg, I mean, How could someone in your professional occupation... Um... <laughs> my occupation opens a lot of entrances, Mr. Spanner. My real business is secrets. I need more, Cognac. So do I. I'm all out of time. I mean wine. Tell me where I can find Rusty. Careful, Spanner. This isn't my first case, Cognac. Tell me where I can find Rusty. Nah. Your entire life has led to this very moment, sitting across from you right now. We're running out of time. To find the man you're looking for. To find Rusty Blackwood. Here's exactly what you need to know. Dimitri! Cognac. Cognac, stay with me. I need to know. Sunshine, Spanner. You need to find 
sunshine. Take oh. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 